Okay, so this is question number 14 and uh, what we want to do, we want to figure out uh, what is the 78th percentile, all right? What is the Z value that corresponds to the 78th percentile uh, in a standard normal distribution? So this is a keyword for us, right? So standard normal distribution and uh, let's try to understand what the meaning of this, all right? So first of all, so again, we are in a standard normal distribution. So standard normal distribution is a bell shape. So this is my bell shape over here. Okay. So once we say the word standard, so this word, it means that the middle would be equals to zero and standard deviation would be equals to three. So this is the meaning of standard, all right? That's the standard mode. Okay, so, uh, all right, so again, uh, the empirical rule as well, tells you that they are most of the data is within three standard deviations so the maximum value here could be plus three and the maximum the minimum value could be here minus three uh, this does not mean that the tail does not continue of course you're going to keep continuing to infinity but most of the data is 99.5 percent of the data is receiving minus three and three right so now uh, we don't really need that but uh, what we need, we need to figure out what is the Z value that corresponds to 78th percentile. Okay, so what is 78th percentile? 78th percentile, if I have to draw it, you can be, well, this is a half of the shape. So 78th is, should be somewhere here. So uh, this area limited by this, it would be the 78th percentile. So this whole area limited by the base shape the vertical line and the x-axis all right so this area in here this it should be equals to 78 right so 78 percentile this mean 78 percent of the total area or the total area is a hundred percent so the hundred percent correspond to one all right and the 78th percent this corresponds to 0 0.7800 all right so that's the total area the blue shaded area and the question is what can be the value here corresponding to that all right what's it going to be the z value corresponding to this okay so now uh, again you can use the calculator or you can use the table either ways i rather do the calculator because it's a tool that you have it available so what we can do here all right so what you can do is again you're going to use the distributions all right so you're going to go to second and bars and then you have to use the inverse normal all right so it is number three so inverse normal all right you go to number three and is telling you the area so what will be the area so the area is you have to type not 78 but you have to type 0. Point. so 0. 0.78 and 0, 0 make sure that the mean is 0 so that's the standard mode and sigma 1 all right and then enter and enter again so by default the calculator always calculate the left tail all right so what does mean left tail all right it means it calculates only this area here all right so it's calculating the area starting from the left hand side so this one this one and this one right so it's calculating and this never ends by the way this area that corresponds to 78 uh, percent this will be the left tail and this is the z value where you should stop so you should stop at 0 0.77219 
Okay, so uh, remember here that uh, for the Z value, you need four digits, right? You need to round it to four digits. Uh, so you need these four digits. So therefore, you have to round the nine, right? So this is going to be the Z equals to 0 0.7722, all right? So this is going to be your answer, right? Uh, let's go ahead and verify it. So we say it is going to be 0 0.7722. All right, let's check it. And yeah, that's correct.